think I'm live. Yep. All right. Hey, welcome to the stream. Really pulling double, triple duty today. So I streamed a little earlier. I did the Dragon Quest 11 demo. I liked it. And now I'm back. We're using the Disc 4 overlay just because we're close. Disc 4 is almost upon us. I am a little tired. I'm going to try to keep the energy up. Uh, <laughs> how was my garden event? Well, I lost my voice a little bit from it. Not too bad. But, um... I was... I saw Tame Impala tonight. And I have... Maybe a full minute worth of footage. And they were great. This is the best I've, I've seen them probably ever. Did people start at you? You mean stare? No. One person um, found me after the show, though, as I was walking out. Jeff was there. Me and uh, Vigibum. We we went together, and it was good. It was a good time. I really enjoyed it. It was their first time at Madison Square Garden, so that's weird. Because I saw them the first time they did Radio City Music Hall, which is a big step up, and now this is a big step up to Madison Square Garden. Just crazy. Um, one second, I have to get the limiter up, and I can't quite find it at the moment. Um, it's amazing how many people managed to sneak weed into Madison Square Garden with there being seemingly no repercussions. I mean, they decriminalized it, and I, I don't think people really give a shit anymore. <laughs> So, it's dank. It was dank in there, so I might be a little residually fucked, but I'll be alright, I think. I think I'll be alright for a Final Fantasy IX stream. Limiter is now operational. Goliath, online. Alright, everything's all set up. We are ready to go. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Final Fantasy IX. We're not ready to go yet. Choco graph locations. There we go. Vinny, did you hit a fat doink? Is that... Now, tell me, what is that? The, the, a doink. Is, is that like a Gotti? Is that like a Soprano? Is that like sawdust? Oh, Tone! Don't tell your wife that a food's like sawdust. Oh, there we go. Double clicking again. Vinny, you can get Freya's best weapon in a cracked wall. Uh, uh, okay. Talk to the Moogles at the Gizmaluk. I will. We no longer fly on an airship, we fly on Chocobo. Sorry. Okay, um... Well, we, we don't really have a ton of Chocobo stuff left. It's just a bit. So... I'm just gonna knock it all out. And then after that... Uh, oh, here's the Wind Temple thing. And then after that, we can move on to... a really interesting part of the game. Hey dude, can you pause the stream while I go downstairs to get water and a Dorito? Alright, we're good. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so, uh, where is this cracked wall? Show, uh, show me. Show me the way. Is it like, yeah, show me. S-H-O-M-I. In the mountains. Uh, north, middle, or south? Because there's a lot of mountains here. I 
near oil oil verge. All right. Yeah, so this is uh, probably, again, some of you have seen me twice today. So this is my second stream, and, uh, and fuck you. I mean that in like, you know, like a, like a empowering way. Like, yeah, I did two streams. Someone just said, I just like to watch. I just realized something, chat. You're all Denny. I'm Tommy Throw Football. You're Denny. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, kind of, kind of a bad feel. Is that a crack in the wall? W what is that? I can't. Uh, that's v I can't tell. Hang on a minute. It, that is a crack. That's it. All right. I just wanted to make sure because it could have been just a shitty texture. Yeah. Maiden prayer, dragon's hair, gauntlets, Odin card, gauntlets, fauntlets, cracks in the floor, warmth. Dusk Plains. Those are not too far. The good news is, now that I have Golden Chocobo, there will not be a single treasure that will elude me. Vinny, do they do any of their rarities today? They did a song called Led Zeppelin. If anyone knows the song Led Zeppelin by Tame Impala, it sounds like a Led Zeppelin song. Dun, 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 dun. It was good. I'm glad they did that one. Uh, it's good to hear they did a pretty. I'd say 60% of their set was more like dancey, of their dancey stuff. And the other 40% was lonerism and some of the more rock stuff. It was a good balance. The audience was into it. Um, I gotta say, Kevin being able to do a full hour and a half show, singing the way he does, like that falsetto, he, first of all, this is the best he's ever sounded vocally. He really has a good grasp over his vocal qualities at this point in time. And he's sounding very good. He was a little rough the last two times I saw him, but with practice and, you know, age, he's, he's really nailing it. He sounded great, but, I mean, I was trying to sing along to some of it, and I realized after, like, a couple songs, it's like, oh my god, this hurts. Like, I can't even imagine doing a full hour and a half the way he sings, like, because, he, again, he does a lot of falsetto. But, uh, he sounded good, the band sounded good, and the songs were good, and the effects were surprisingly amazing. Like, I know, you know, you go to a Tame Impala show, you want to see, like, lights and lasers and stuff. I don't really care about that stuff too much. It's fine, I want to see it, but it's not, like, my focus. Yet, there were some things that truly surprised me. Like, they had some AR. They had, like, augmented reality stuff on the screen. Demon's mail, huh? I'll do all the items after this. Um, so see at dusk. Okay, we're, we're all we're all over here. Well, here while while you're here, let me show you. Let me show you something. It's gonna be loud for a second. It's gonna get nice and claimed. Hop on H A P P U N. 
So I only got a little bit of footage, but then there was this stuff that shot out of a cannon. This was the first song they opened with this. Vinny, I can't help but notice you're standing perfectly still. Do you not groove? I'm filming, son. I groove. Don't you dare tell me I don't groove. Gotta get elephant. You know why I gotta get elephant? Because there were people dressed as elephants in the audience jumping up and down. <laughs> um, this was th the best thing ever when this happened. <laughs> So, this is something that happened during the show. Kevin Parker grew laser eyes. So, proof that Kevin Parker is God. Um, and... Look at that. This is me exploding. I died several minutes after that picture was taken. And here was the end of the show. They ended with, um, new person, same old mistakes. I wonder how many people in the audience thought this was a Rihanna cover. But yeah, this is their very first Madison Square Garden show. And... They killed it. They did great. They had a, a, a good... A good stage presence on top of everything else. Vinny, you look so happy. I know that's sarcasm. Chocobo music time. Vinny, now you can say, I was there. Yeah, but after I go, who's gonna say, I was there? You know, long after I'm away from this planet. You will have to continue my legacy. Oh no, children! Desire the dragon? <laughs> Serendopolis! Vinny, thoughts on the Metro franchise? I've, I've not played it. So, they gotta get to a beach, and I think this is in the water. It's most ass assuredly in the water, isn't it? This is gonna be fast chocobo for a minute. Just, again, this is like the very end of the side quest stream until Magnet, which I think you can do Magnet Disc 4, right? Yep, okay, you can do Magnet on disc 4, so I'll just... Whoa. Sorry, this is, like, nauseating, but it has to be done. Um, Magnet, I'll wait. Da -da 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 -da. Vinny, why is the music the same speed when fast-forward? Because Square finally did something right with one of these ports. Seriously. Thank God. The music. Oh, there's a crack over there. Huh. Okay, uh, I gotta remember that spot. Yeah, if the music was... ...was in any way altered because of Fast Forward, that would suck. Okay, some good stuff there. You can go to the Sky Garden and fight Ozma now. You could probably beat him with luck. And doing the friendly enemy quest. Oh, you're giving me Ajita. Thinking about Ozma. Ozmajita.
Okay, there's a crack. I, oh, I can't do the crack. I don't have a pepper. Vinny, you can legit do it if you do the friendly quest line. Now, okay. I don't know if I ask this question. I might still be in Tame Impala land right now, but... Um, uh, I can wait. Yes. <laughs> Until disc four. For that, I can do Ozma later. Okay. All right, so then I do Ozma later. I cuz I I didn't want to make progress. I'd like to break up the side quest as much as possible to make for more enjoyable viewing. Sadly, I need a dead pepper. It boosts your stuff and uh the paradise is not on the map, but I know you can find it. I Yep. That's what I do. I f I find things. Vinny, do you know about Hades? I I do know about Hades. But, um, I, f I forgot about Hades, specifically. I, I know it's a, a thing that you can get. Quack. Come on, quack, quack, quack. I need two peppers, because there's two cracks that I need to open. Someone said, what do you think of The Matrix coming back? I, I didn't really go into detail about my, my thoughts on it, but really, who cares about my thoughts on anything? That said, my thoughts on Keanu Reeves. I think that the movie could be really bad. I don't want to be too cynical about it, because cynicism is like, it, it, it like leads to like your gut biome becoming imbalanced um, and it leads you to an early grave. But I'm kidding. But the truth is I, I try not to be too cynical about it because I, I think maybe there's a chance that they can write a movie that at least is entertaining. And really all they have to do is make a movie better than Matrix 2 and 3. And, you know, that's good. That's good enough. Whether or not you love the first one, it was definitely a zeitgeist moment, and it was a good movie. You know, for a lot of people, I love it. Grew up watching it. Uh, so, I, I mean, that's the one that you gotta live up to. But considering we've got two, sh like, kind of subpar sequels, I was gonna say shitty, but they're not really shitty. Maybe they can find a way to, you know, get it right. And Ke Keanu Reeves is going to be in it. Matrix 3 was pretty shitty. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing I like. Uh, Animatrix was great. I like elements of Matrix 2 and 3. Specifically 2. The Smith clones was great. That's That whole sequence is great. Uh, there's ideas present that I really enjoy. Like, I think they, they went real heady with it, and they tried to do something especially, you know, thought-provoking, and like, wow! And it didn't really work, but I, I thought it was kind of cool. Like, I, I enjoyed the, the idea of it. It just, the execution of it was not great. So yeah, Matrix 2, though, had some cool stuff. I love the, the fucking, the road, the highway scene. They built, like, a whole section of highway. I love that whole thing, like, how they built that, that highway so they could film there. Oh, wrong thing. How do you feel about the Matrix that we are living in right now? God. It's kind of boring. Like, the graphics aren't even that good to the point where we play video games because we can get better graphics. It needs an expansion. It needs some fucking balancing.
there's barely any content. It's mostly empty space. Yeah, I mean, if I go into the the overworld, and I'm not in like a like a very populated area, there's just nothing to do. I mean, you might get bit by a rabid coyote. Yeah, another map would be nice. Well, I mean, we almost went uh, and got a couple new maps, but then we just, like, cut funding to NASA, and the space program was like, Moon good! And that was it, after Moon. So... Good enough. Let's let's go ahead and get that defense defense budget. We need to get that that higher, and then we'll just cut the space budget all the way down. Which I don't know. You know, I don't know if it's good or bad. I have no idea. That's just what happened. I just I, listen. I'm a romantic when it comes to space because I watch a lot of stupid sci-fi. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I would have loved. To have been in a reality where, okay, 1969 was the launching point where we went to the moon, and then we went to Mars a couple of years later, and now we've got bases on various moons, and we've established um, a solar, intersolar civilization where you could visit these places. That would have been just kind of cool, I guess. Um, it wouldn't be particularly comfortable, but, you know, based on me watching sci fi. I know what would happen. The ship would, would run into some kind of alien eggs. And then, like, certain little penis creatures would burst from your chest. But at least it wouldn't be boring. Vootby, come to Area 51 with us. You, you understand that that has become... Like, they deleted the event on Facebook, apparently. Uh, that's one. And two, it's now on shirts, and there's, like, Fire Festival, there's Area 51 Festival. Like, they're gonna be throwing a concert out there, and there's no fucking place to stay. There's, like, one... <sighs> In what is it? Um, it starts with an R. Roselle? No. What's the name of the the little town just outside Area 51 that people go to? Not Roswell. There, there's um. It's no. Rachel. Rachel Nevada. Rachel Nevada. Roselle. Where the fuck did that come from? Uh, Rachel Nevada. There, there's a uh, there's like a little. It's called the Little Alien. It's a, it's a pun. It's a joke. Anyway, they, like, made an announcement. Hey, all our rooms are booked, and this place is not a big enough establishment to handle thousands of people, so be prepared to fucking camp in the desert if you come to Area 51 Fest. You dumbasses. They didn't say that, but maybe they should have. Alright, um... The X-Files episode with Michael McKean taught me about the little alien. What, what's the name of that one? I want to watch that one again. Oh, I'll just look it up. I remember enjoying that episode very much. Um... Can we do story? Alright, well, hold your hold your horses. Chat, how do I get these three? The island at the corner of them. Oh, right, 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 right. Here we go. Look at this. 
It's... It's beautiful. It looks very good upscaled, too. Mene. So this is Paradise, Kupo. Mene, when did you get here? Kupo, I followed you because I thought you'd find this place soon. I'm speechless, Kupo. Quah. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting. Quah. Hello, my child! Seeker Choco, welcome. I am Fat Chocobo, the king of Chocobo's paradise. It would have been better if you'd come here without the help of humans, but they have taken good care of you. I've made it so they can understand our language while they're here. Que. You who brought Choco here. Choco will stay here and start a new life with us. You should say your goodbyes now. Que. Yeah, I understand. I think he just said Que. I'm Mene. I'll live here too, Koopo. Little one! Koopo? Only Chocobos can live here. No exceptions? No exceptions. Sorry. That's a sad thing, isn't it? God. Have you finished your goodbyes? Not yet, Koopo. Choco still needs to find more treasures, Koopo. Choco, you're not looking for a peace and companionship? Are there things you must take care of? Que. Then come back when you finish what you must. No. Oh. Going home, Koopo. <laughs> so disappointed. I'll be waiting at the usual location, Koopo. So, wait, 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 wait. How do I get to the Sky Garden from here? Oh, you don't from here? It moves around the map. Look for the shadow. Okay. a shadow while flying and use a dead pepper. Uh. Uh. Vinny, there's like five places it can be. I'm gonna look up a map for this, but first let me just fly around for a second. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna fucking find this thing. Watch. In three, two, one. Nope. Center of the map. Well, that's one spot. One of the islands near Daguerro and near Traino. Okay. I mean, the world map in this game 
feels a little emptier than some of the other Final Fantasies for some reason. Yet the Chocobo stuff makes it feel a lot more alive. No, I mean, there's just a lot of space. Like, this whole continent, this is like a giant continent, and it, it's like got three locations on it that are of use. Small cliffs in the northeast corner of the Mist Continent. Small cliffs in the northeast corner of the Mist Continent, okay. Well, I've checked every other location, or at least I think I did. Probably not. Northeast corner. Uh. FF9 Sky Garden locations. Elect. Lactations. Okay, I've got the map. So it's either here... I mean, I am playing No Man's Sky after this, so... Lactation is the correct word. We're gonna tease the honey out of the meat. It could be here. Could be me. Could be you. Wait, did you guys see it? Could be here. Or it could be here. You'll be able to see it. It's a large black circle. That's moving. Or it could be here. find than expected. The texture could be glitched? Oh, no. Oh, no. Then it was hidden beneath the forest? Well, like here? see it. Yeah, it was glitched. Good call on that. Uh-oh! Oh, this is bad! I fucked up! Booty, please! How do I get 99 peppers? I need dead peppers. Okay, dead pepper has been our favorite food for 500 years. This paradise existed long before the disaster 500 years ago. Quick, quick, quick. The dead pepper is our favorite food. It has not given me 99 dead peppers. Did I say 100 and not 1,000? Man, what were they smoking in Madison Square Garden? Probably dead peppers, right? 
Yeah, there's there's no um there's no 99 peppers here. It does say Chocobo to the left of the fat Chocobo, right? Well, we just got bean boozled. At least I know the texture is glitched. Not a good thing necessarily, but at this moment in time, that will be helpful. So if I need to find it again, I will. But that that just set us back. That set the stream back quite a bit. Me like making that mistake with the dead pepper there. That was good. That was a good, solid four minute loss. close to that robe of lords. Alright, check the same spot first. If you see lines, please let me know. Could be right here. God damn it, I had this thing. When there was a goddamn rewind. It's fucking dead peppers. Man. fuck do I do now? Does it actually move between the spots, or does it just move a little bit? Like, do I have to reload the map to get a new one? moves a bit. Alright, so then let me go into Chocobo's forest. Let me leave Chocobo's forest and we try again.
So not only is it difficult to find, but now the texture's broken. So now it's double difficult to find. <sighs> Maybe even triple. camp it out. Uh, as I've discovered just now, it doesn't actually move. After the concert, I, I rewarded myself with a Tim Tam. Tim Impala. Tim Tam Impala. And it was good. I couldn't tell the difference. If it was a different recipe from the ones I got from Australia, I couldn't tell. So, that's a good thing. It's been years since I've had a legit Tim Tam. So maybe that has something to do with it. So... Fucking hell! So that's spot number one. Here's spot number two. There's another crack over here. Did I not get this crack? Yeah, I did, right? Oh, oh man. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, and I can't... I gotta be careful with pepper use. Great, it's Cat House again. Well, at least it's something different than Chocobo music for a second. I wonder if that also resets the locations. We're gonna get this thing. We're gonna find it right now. Battles don't reset it. All right. Shadow is so goddamn hard to find on the water. I know it's just lines, but the only location for sure that was, you know, easy for me to see was right here. Oh, well, that's helpful. You best get up there, Choco. Did you notice, Koopo? The island is floating on clouds. Location of the island might change when you go back down, so check its location. Hopefully I won't have to come back up here. Here we go. I 
forgot that you could walk on clouds. Also, don't mind me. I'm just eating a, a Tim Tam. Just talking about them made me hungry for one, and I'm being very bad <laughs> right now. Should not be eating Tim Tams at one in the morning, but just one. It's just one. Two packs of Tim Tams in the fridge? Oh, that's smart. Maybe I'll put mine in the fridge after this. Candy, you know what? Candy in the freezer is something that I used to do when I was younger, and I haven't done it in a long time. Like a chocolate bar. How about this? You know those little, um, you know the Milky Ways that are tiny? My grandfather used to put those in the freezer, and, and those were just perfect. Charleston Chew? No, I've never had those, but I did, when I was in uh, Wildwood, I bought taffy and uh, fudge, and I put that in the fridge. And those, those are good cold. Geez, so windy up here. Hey, Vin, it's Justin. Are you the person that harassed me outside of Madison Square Garden? You know how some- no, you didn't- he, he didn't harass me, he was great. It's very, very good. He waited until after the show. Uh, it was just really nice to meet you, Justin. Um, <laughs> wow. Oh shit, I can buy the Robe of Lords. But, um... No, it, it was- it was cool. You know when people in chat are like, Vinny, did I see you at Wegmans? I'm like, where where do you live? And they're like, oh, I'm in California. Well, this is the one time where someone could say, Vinny, did I see you today? And I'd be like, yeah, maybe. Or actually, in this case, 100% is truth. I saw a vine shroom. Does that count? Don't eat it. I promise you, mushrooms that grow wildly are not a good idea. Remember, whenever I found mushrooms as a kid, I was like, I wonder if you could just cook these up. Like the, the skinny mushrooms that just grow in the cracks of pavement. Choco said he already dug up all the chocographs here. This place displays as a map location now. Nice. I can't believe I got the Robe of Lords, finally. Give to Viv? Wow. Those stats. It's got reflect null on it. Nullifies reflect and attacks. Vinny, take a look at the protect ring.
Half MP. Wow. That's good stuff. Who should get that? Ignores reflect your spells pierce now. I gotta get that on Vive. I think, yeah, Vive could probably use this too. Protect ring. Vivi is, really is now death. Destroyer of worlds. Nullifies magic element. I'm gonna find these last ones, and then we'll do the equip stuff, and then I will move on to story. I just... Let me get everything first. Save. What could go wrong? I say, as a power outage is incoming. Ragnarok, huh? Third best store sword for Steiner. F stored. I can't. Uh, oh, there it is. I'm just so grateful that I have fast forward for this stuff. I don't mind the Chocobo quests. It, it is a little tedious, and it's kind of not worth it. Well, it might not be worth it. I don't know how difficult this game is without it. I just don't remember, to be honest. But... It's just a lot of work, you know? There it is, the final one. Ribbon, Rebirth Ring, Amethyst, Arc Card. So there it is, that's everything. That's the Chocobo quest, right? Do I have anything left to do? Or can I just stop now? Just Ozma, and there's some dive locations. I'm good on that. You can get 99 dead peppers, get all the cracks and bubbles if you haven't. We can do that disc four. Scampy, please save. All right. Monster quest. Oh, the friendly monsters. Well, again, we'll we'll do that disc four. Wow. God, that's mental. Rubber suit. I 
How many Tim Tams have you had? Just one. I had one when I got back. I had one now, so... That's two. I had five. Vinny, I watched the PT video about Kojima. I want to hear you talk more about it. I don't really have much more to say about it. I thought it was just a really interesting video. I don't know how true it is. It's good speculation. It's not too tin foily. Shock and Thunder Slash. Yo, Steiner's got shock. <laughs> Yo. Well, now the team's a little bit more broken than usual. What did I get? Freya got something interesting. Eye for eye? Equip holy meter? What's that? Eye for eye raises counter activation rate. Oh. No getting off of this train we on. We're going. We're going. We're going to disc four. Holy meter is a hat. Okay. Mr. Zidane, we're going to get sucked in. What shall I do? Keep moving forward. We're going out on the deck. W what do you mean? If Garnet is right, we can jump into the teleporter. From this height? We'll be fine! Considering all that we've been through, this is nothing. Cutscene. That was like fucking Tame Impala's light show. Could this be Terra? What's this light? Could it be? So you finally came. The time has come at last. The one who- who the heck are you? Ask my name, will you? Then let us ask, what is your name? What is your name? Me? My name is- Hey, hey, what's your problem? I'm trying to tell you my name. So you believe a given name has meaning? Boy, you have been bewitched by the light of the blue moon. What do you know? What do you know? You must be from Terra. You know nothing, and that is all, Jon Snow. Come and see for yourself. See what Terra is, and what you are. Hey, hang on! He's gone. It's a Dane. I love this Mellotron. Garnet. Are you all right? Yes, everyone's fine. Come, let's hurry. Just 
just a really nice set of, of instruments. For the music of, of this place. Hey! Why does this screen, why does this background look extra scummy? Did you see that person monkey had a had a tail? Was this like blurrier than the rest of the backgrounds? Hey, wait up. I love the way this planet looks so much. Yep, ringleader. Yep. Stu! Uh, hula ink! After all this time! Please, Vinny, come back to Kingsway! Hula Demon and Coin Gloves are, are my favorite, um, bootleg memes. Yeah, so Steiner can just do 9999 damage now. And <laughs> all that for a thousand? Steiner is just amazing. Oh, shit. That dragon spell, you have to kill the grand dragons to get that to 9999. How do I get that other chest over there, chat? Can I get that now or no? can't tell. Uh... I mean, it's supposed to be over there, maybe. Someone's saying later. What's your problem? I get it, and it's just, like, potion. Where'd she go? This is just a better version of Half-Life's Zen. Yeah, there's something really... I love this music, I love the vibe. And the vibraphone. And the kalimba. Whatever's being used, and especially the Mellotron. The Mellotron is an instrument... We've used it before. Uh, I love it. It's one of my favorites, and it's just... Tape synth, basically. Like, it's- it's emulated strings. From the 60s and 70s, it was, like, really popular then. And it's, like, got a very clear fake sound, but yet, it's... It's just weirdly perfect for so many things, and like, it has this odd, like, emotional tinge to it. 
the Moog is better? I mean, they're kind of different things. I, I, I like both. Can I like both? You don't remember anything, do you? Follow me and you will understand us. And maybe your own heritage as well. Yeah, it is apples and oranges. The, the Mellotron, again, is not a synthesizer. Hey, wait, hold, hold on a second. People pronounce it Moog. Or Mog. I've always said Moog. Once you go on, you'll see. That was, um, Zidane Yell that we just spoke to. Thank you, chat member, for giving me that. I enjoyed that. What the heck? What is this place? It looks really artificial, so different than before. Yeah, but it doesn't seem very lively. Welcome home. This is where you belong. The place to which you shall offer yourself is here. Banana. Hold on a second, what the heck are you talking about? What the... Garnet, wake up! Garnet! Damn it, what the heck is going on? All this talk about Zidane's home, Garnet seeing the thing that destroyed her home. You are completely oblivious. Just like a newborn child. You don't know why you were given life. Or for what purpose you exist. You simply shout to emphasize your life, your own existence. You are completely oblivious. Does that not just apply to everything? Gotta find a place for her to rest. Zidane, leave the princess to me. You must go reconnoitre re re at once. Yeah, you're right. There's got to be some place around here. Just watch over her, Steiner. I'll be right back. This music right here. It's a shame there's a weird tone, but that's part of it. It's so weird <laughs> the tone, isn't it? Full life consequences here. Oh, oh, you can learn holy right now? Here's, um, one of my favorite songs. Like, not just in any video, not in Final Fantasy IX, but I mean in, in any video game. 
don't know why I love it so much. It's just so spooky and perfect, and I love it. What's going on? Everyone has a tail, and their hair is just like mine. Hey, what are you guys up to? You, you kind of... You look like a kid to me. We possess no age. We were built this way. Hey, is, is there a place around here to get some rest? Why do you rest? Why? Don't you guys go to sleep at night? Not that I'm sleepy right now, but... By night, do you mean the condition in which light recedes? Look, I don't have time for an interview. Where can I find an inn? There is the entrance. Right there, huh? I gotcha. This looks like a good place for Garnet to get some rest. But what's up with everyone here? They're all so... stiff. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling about this place. Well, first things first, I gotta bring Garnet back here. Excuse me! Do you have any medicine? Hello? Is there a place I can buy some medicine around here? Hello? I'm asking if you have any medicine. Ah! Come this place is full of weirdos. Everyone has a tail like Zidane. Aw. If I could only find some Pimo Pimo herbs or I could make some wake-up powder for her. But is this my lucky day? No. Huh? Found ya. You're that girl, right? It's your fault Garnet collapsed, you know. Wow, never mind. Say, don't you have any medicine at all? She will soon awaken. How do you know? Where is your man? M my man? My man? Are you talking about Zidane? Even I never called him that. But too bad for you. He and Garnet are super hot for each other. You don't have a chance with him. Tell him I am waiting in the underground laboratory. Oh, the nerve. What makes you think I'd tell him that? Hey, where, where do you think you're going? What a bimbo! <laughs> uh oh, I don't have time for this! <laughs> Holy shit. I forgot that she called her a bimbo. <laughs> Garnet! <laughs> Princess, why must you suffer more? <sighs> Damn it. What is the matter, Zidane? You haven't been yourself at all. What the heck do you mean I haven't been myself? <sighs> I'm sorry, I, I don't even know what's wrong with me. I just... I just can't concentrate with all this blue light. Ah, uh, um... Princess. You have awoken! What made you lose consciousness so suddenly? I remembered... Remembered what? It wasn't a storm that destroyed Medane Sari. It was... It was the eye on that airship that destroyed Medane Sari. You remember, don't you? The eye was also there when Alexandria was leveled. Yes, there was a large eye in the sky above from which light emanated. Now that you mention it, it was there when Bahamut went wild at the Ifa tree. Ifa tree, whatever. Yes. It was there in the sky. It must be the same airship. What? Then that must be the ship that slew Her Majesty! Rusty! Oh. I'm sorry, Princess. Don't worry about it. I've already come to terms with that. That ship took everything from me. Took away my parents, my homeland, Alexandria. Everything. How terrible. Garnet, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're still pale. You gotta rest. 
Hmm. How come everyone looks so pale? What's wrong? No need to be concerned. A strange place such as this is caused enough for exhaustion. Oh. Hey, where are you going, Zidane? Oh, oh, that's right. That weird girl! That girl that led us here said something strange again. She said she was waiting for you in some underground laboratory. What a pervert! Zidane? When the blue light becomes red, that is when souls will enter our bodies. In time, we will receive souls, and our bodies will begin to grow. Ah, it boards me right off. Our activity is restricted to the area before this gate. Only the Chosen may unlock the barrier. Hey, what the heck are you guys doing? We develop into vessels. Say what? Okay, whatever. But, but hey, you have both men and women, right? Asexual beings would lack the genetic diversity to adapt to new environments. So weird. In time, we will receive souls, then our bodies will begin to grow. So Dane's like, wait, 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 wait. Do, do you... Do you go to the bone zone? Yes. Yes, we do. What the heck is this? Yeah, genetic variation, I guess. Murak. Thanks, Koopo. I was trapped inside, Koopo. How the fuck did you get here? In return for saving me, Koopo, I opened a shop for you. You seriously have to let me know how you got here. You know, it's it's best I don't know. Someone in chat said Zadobertsons. That's super cool. I want you to deliver my letter, but you can't hold any more, Koopo. Which one uh, can I throw away? The Mopley one? But let me introduce you to the new Joker! <laughs> I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, Vinny, you bought nine hats. No. The only important letters are the ones you get during disc four. Did I really buy nine hats? Oh my god, I bought nine hats. Oh god! No wonder I ran out of money. What the fuck is wrong with me? Mopley, uh, to Sereno. This is the one I can get rid of? Because there's, there's a couple that I can't go back for. Period. Alright, we'll get rid of that one. Uh, you need me to deliver a letter to Mosmi. Sure. So how, how are you liking this particular music?
eerie yet serene. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. This is not the one I skipped during Minecraft. I skipped, um, you'll see. Well, you, you'll hear. Gaia's blue light causes pain to those of us who are created by the civilization of Terra. Pain resistance is also a part of adaptation to the, the environment. The waxing and waning of the moon, the respiration of the planets, motion and stillness, stillness and motion. Yep, that's, that's, thank you for that. That's a nice thing to say to someone you've never met before. Stiltskin? What the fuck are you doing up here? Thanks, buddy. I can continue my journey with this money. What a strange place. This is this where Rem Lazar comes from? many save slots. Someone said I should make a multiple, so I made a multiple. We vessels must exercise sufficiently in order to maintain health. Planet's color indicates its shape. Gaia is blue, Terra is red. The flow of souls means that a planet has life. The stoppage of souls means that a planet is dead. Fleeting knowledge is useless to vessels, but information is given to prevent mental atrophy. Souls flow. As the planets turn. As the planets turn, souls flow. The planets shimmer as its breath. A sign of line, life activity caused by the cycling of souls. When the souls of Terra and Gaia mix, Terra will be integrated into the larger Gaia. Watch out, man. Watch out. Zedelvis? You bet. That's me. I think I just wanted to make sure I saw all the dialogue here. I think we got most of it. Heightened recognition of vi visual stimuli is a necessity, or a necessary condition for bodies to be used as vessels. Chest inside the inn. Why must you suffer more? Wait, I missed a, uh, a treasure chest? It's okay, I'm watching over Garnet. Oh, there it is. There was an elixir right there. They could just use it on Garnet. Chest on bridge with green barrier. Okay, well, before we go into the fucking weird laboratory... Oh, yeah.
I have no idea how to get that. Go to the pond? Take the left stairs down a screen and then walk behind them. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I only have nine of those. Had. Hi, this is Tommy Wesel, creator of the room. Let me introduce you to the new Joker. Ah! Hi, this is Tommy Wesel, creator. <laughs> His fucking scream when he does the Joker thing. <laughs> just, just, uh, yep, that's acting. That's how you be a Joker. You just scream. We measure their suitability as vessels for our research in order to create and grow a higher breed of genome... Genome soldiers. Oh. So that's what's going on. Jeez, I should have guessed. So this is what you wanted to show me? Yes. I am glad you understand. I don't want to understand. Sorry, but I'm not like that. I mean, all these guys with tails who look just like me, they're, they're a bunch of zombies. They are my peers. We are genomes. We live in this village. Genomes? Is that what they're called? Not just them, but you and me, too. It is the name of the seed given to all of us. Its name is Genome. Talk about a letdown. Who would have guessed that the home I've yearned for would be a dump like this? No wonder I never found it. It's not even on Gaia. Why are you not happy? You have returned to the place of your birth. Happy? You guys can process that emotion? Look at them! Look at all their blank faces! What can we do? After all, we are made that way. And we are built to watch over each other and work together as soulless genomes. What's it all for? Get to the point already! How come I grew up on Gaia if I was born here? I'm alive! I have a soul! So why is everyone here so... Because you are special. Because you are a puppet. What? We are mere vessels, but you have been given a greater purpose. The will of Garland is absolute. Garland? Who's that? Activity measurement 525 surpass, surpasses basic value. Notice they follow Zidane when he walks. Garland watches over this planet. His mission is to restore the people of Terra. Restore the people of Terra? You mean people besides these guys here? They are merely vessels. So am I, and so are you. But the true people of Terra have been asleep for ages, waiting for their time to come. When the time is right, the light of this planet will change from blue to red, and Gaia will become Terra. Wait a second. So the people of Terra are out to take over Gaia. But what else can there be? Terra has always absorbed new planets to survive. And when the time comes, the souls of the people of Terra will occupy the genomes. Such is the restoration of the people of Terra. Why, why do they have to be so tedious? Why don't they just wipe us out with magic like they did Alexandria? 
Once, Garland tried to use a more forceful method, but failed. Then he should just quit and leave Gaia alone. Because of his failure, he was forced to wait a long time. To wait until Gaia's civilizations gained tremendous power. The power to use... Idolans. So that's why you attacked the Summoner's Village and destroyed Alexandria. Planets have a cycle of souls. Souls are born from the planet and then return to it. Garland planned to gain control of that very cycle. You were supposed to help him achieve that. What? Garland is waiting for you. Come. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I don't care about all this Terra and Gaia stuff. Sedane isn't back yet. And with Garnet not feeling well, I wonder where he is. Echo. No, Garnet, you can't get up yet. I'm alright. Listen, I want to ask you a favor. Oh? Well, just tell me and I'll get right on it. I want you to go find Zidane. Huh? Oh, oh, oh sure, okay. Oh, I get it. You're getting jealous. No, I'm not. I just have a feeling something terrible is going to happen. Alright, I'll go get him. So just stay here and rest. <coughs> Where's Queena throughout all this? Maybe it's best they don't... Oh, god damn it. I... What big stone? Why you all watch stone? Oh, is stone edible? Or is for barbecue? No answer. I think I lick it. You know answer, so you know mine, right? Hmm. It's very salty. Oh, who that? What you doing here, Zidane? Huh? Oh. Uh, hi, Queena. You stand here, say nothing, then you are just like other dummy dummies. No can tell difference. They say someone always has double somewhere. There's so many of you here. The world's strange place, no? Yeah, I guess. Zidane, what matter? You know seem yourself. Hmm? No, oh, it's nothing. I'm always myself. Besides, it's not just me. You look just like your master, too. Of course. Master Quale is Q Clan. We same. Yeah. Well, I guess everybody looks the same to someone from another race. Hmm. Maybe you right. What he say? Same race? Oof. Uh, excuse me. Uh, so, um, what do you guys do here? Uh, hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. This blue light sure is pretty, isn't it? You, you like it too, right? You're all looking at the blue light. The light is unpleasant to us. Oh, really? Huh? Is that girl? It's that girl. Hmm? Oh, hey, hey, Zidane, what are you up to? What do you mean? What are you doing, Vivi? I'm trying to talk with the natives. This boy here seems to be my age and everything. You're wasting your time. They won't give you a decent answer. Oh, well, but I think I can get through to them. Huh? Well, I'm surprised you feel that way. I don't know why, but I, I feel like we're similar. Similar? Well, what do you mean? I, I know they're similar to me, but... No, no, I, not like that. They're a lot like the black mages we saw on the cargo ship and in Clara. Of course, we, we don't all look alike at all, but... I, I can see one thing, their minds aren't hollow. I think that their minds are just out to lunch for a little while. Hmm. Not hollow, huh? Hey. W where are you going, Zidane? Z Zidane? This is all breaking my heart. Like... It's, you know, it's not just Vivi, like, Zidane's going through a mindfuck. 40 hours in, Vivi is already, he's already been through all this shit, and he's like, you know, 
he's had a bit of a character arc. Well, quite a bit of a character arc. And now he's teaching Zidane things that... You know, Zidane needs... That he didn't have. Hey, where are you taking me? I told you, you are going to see Garland. Yeah, of course, but this way is a dead end. There is a way. See? You may find him through the portal. He awaits where the souls sleep, the floating castle, where souls bide their time until their restoration. Pandemonium. Will you not say farewell to your friends? I don't care what I am. I was born here, wasn't I? If so, then I'm an enemy of the people of Gaia. You learn quickly. Make no mistake, I won't join your side. I just... If we are actually relatives, then... Then I want to take care of this little family matter myself. Say, Amaranth, did Zidane go this way? Yeah, seems so. He had a real serious look on his face. Well, I knew something was wrong. I'm gonna go look for him, right? Huh? I'm trying to say I'll go with you. Catch my drift. See, even that's kind of a nice moment. Like, even scummy Amaranth has come around a bit. Scum Lord. Now you listen to me. Where did you take Zidane? He went on his own to see Garland. Garland? Ooh, that's a sinister name. But Zidane wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went. Yes, he went to find out the reason for his existence. Liar! That's a terrible lie! I am an enemy of the people of Gaia, he said as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium. We gotta tell the others. Heaven grant the wandering souls eternal repose. Did I miss dialogue? I think I missed dialogue. Uh, uh, I missed a whole scene. Fuck. What was the scene? It was the VV stuff? <sighs> Damn it, that really bothers me for some reason. Um, it's Echo with Queena and VV, Amaranth with Zidane. Could I get a video of that, if anyone can find it? So this must be Garland's haunted mansion. Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. Alright. Time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. Yeah, that was some of the best upscaling I've seen yet. So we meet again. Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I am glad you have returned. Shut up. Nobody tells me what to do. I didn't come here to answer to you. been either in this video. Alright, I'll keep it. That's a rickroll, isn't it? Nope. I'm sorry, I want to check out that scene. So, let's just watch the scene. You get to see the, uh, the scummy, non-upscaled version, by the way. 
and you, you can see how much of a difference there is. Hey Zidane, what do you want? What? That's no way to say hello. What the hell is this place? I thought we'd find a bunch of mean mothers down here, but they're all a bunch of wimps. No challenge, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Hey, Amarant, can I ask you something? No. Do you have any parents or family? What a stupid question. Sorry, I was just curious. I don't remember any loving parents. My first memory is the face of a guy I had to fight when I found meaning in life through combat. Funny how you put that in the past tense. All due to my wonderful influence. Ugh, what do you want me to do? Thank you? Please, you're gonna make me sick. How about you? What, you mean my parents? I, I don't have parents. Oh, Eiko, what happened to Zidane? He seemed much worried. I don't know, he just left without saying a word. We go look for Zidane together. It was just that one. So we did the VV scene. Um, yeah, it seems like that was it. Aiko talking to Vivi. Mm, it's not in this video. Unfortunately. All right, well, if, if anyone manages to find it, it's uh, it's fine. I, I'm happy we got to see the Amaranth scene, at least. No worries, thank you for the video. I'm glad you found it. I'm glad we didn't miss that entirely. Whoa. Anyway, this has been a very long staring contest. Let me guess, you must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down. But first, you're gonna tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia? What do you want to, Why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. Just to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You growing up on Gaia, for example. There's another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the aura of Gaia will turn into the crimson glow of Terra has not yet come. It was Queena, everybody, destroyer of worlds. I may need your help anyway. Stop! Now tell me everything. I constructed the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But Twenty-four years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is already. Do you not yet know? You and he are so much alike. Alike? I've never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean, someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother. It really is Metal Gear Solid. Genomes, brother, fucking this is Solidus Snake. And his name is Kuja. Kuja, he's a genome? Impossible, he doesn't even have a tail. He is only hiding it. 
he denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up. I'm not like him at all. He said the same thing when speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like these guys. His ambition was unbecoming of a genome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia, that's what I wanted. That was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then, why? The disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? When you received the gift of life in Bran Bal, Kuja could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuja discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia. The world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave, just like Kuja? To start a war on Gaia? That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he'd let you live as well. So that is why the blood of the th So that is why the blood of thousands had to be spilled? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition? Or to our plan to disrupt? disrupt the cycle of soul. This is some heavy reading for a concert where I got like some severe secondhand high. Both. And what exactly do you gain by disrupting that cycle of souls or whatever? We must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's life cycle and drain its souls, filling the void with the souls of Terra. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole, thus war. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone. Gaia becomes Terra. But how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Aoife tree and the mist it emits. The role of the Aoife tree is that of the soul devourer. Soul divider. What is the soul devourer? That's from something. The mist you see comprises the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah? Well, we stopped the mist. So much for that! All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now, the Aoife tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls, while it lets those of Terra flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. What is this? Think of it as an observatory, a place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. And Terra. Keep hitting the mute button, sorry. What are you talking about? What is this weird light? That's the center of the planet. The end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now, but when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra, and its restoration will be complete. Boy, it sure is Final Fantasy in here. That is why I wrapped up the light in the Aoife tree. To prevent the cycle of the judgment of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. I don't know. Such is the Aoife tree's true purpose, its true form. All you saw was its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of mist. So, Kuja is just the angel of death who sends souls to the tree of Aoife. Yes, my angel of death. But only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next, after all. Do you mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. Well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. 
Yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter, all the tears I've shared with the people I grew up with on Gaia. Forget all that. You are destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power. If only I had a place to call home. My brothers in Tantalus, Vivi, Freya, Amaranth, Quina, Steiner, Aiko, and Garnet. My home is with them in Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra. That's reason enough for my birth here as a genome. <sighs> Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am the new angel of death. Yours. Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up. I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. The body becomes a vessel which greets a new soul. What's happening? It's too good to make it into a regular genome. But I have no choice. Ah. Uh. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but... Soon, soon the power will be mine alone. <laughs> Just you wait, Garland, and you too, Zidane. I'll extract... Or rather, I will exact sweet revenge upon you both for insulting me. I'll make the people of both Gaia and Terra know who rules over the, all of them. <laughs> Who am I? What am I? I don't know anything. I cannot think at all. It's a Dane. Yeah, I was called that once. Many people called me that. You always have to show off, don't you? Yeah, maybe I do. Why, you worthless mendicant! Yep, sounds about right. How very becoming of you. Becoming of me? I really learned a lot by traveling with you, Zidane. Yeah, right. I have nothing to teach. You teach me many things more important than tasty munchies. No, I don't know anything. You call that friendship? 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 Zidane? Uh, I don't know who I am. You were always there for me, Zidane. I'm so tired. How come you're always so... I, I am an empty vessel. Zidane. Who? Wake up, Zidane. Who? Come on, Zidane, wake up. Ow. Zidane. Vivi. Aiko. Thank goodness you're alive. We thought you were dead. Oh, I... This is the song, by the way. We were so worried. Why did you come here all by yourself? What? What are you doing here? Huh? Well, we came to save you, of course. And it wasn't easy. You went off all alone. Just leave me alone. Huh? This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on. There he goes, being the tough guy. Look, Zidane, it's not just about you. Come on, Zidane. Don't be like that. Let's... Shut up. Just shut up, you stupid brat. Zidane? Oh, Zidane.
So Dane, wait up! You need to rest, Zidane. Will you little twits just shut up? There's some things kids can't understand. That was the sound of this monster. Thank you, Dave. I'll check that out later. Looks like you need some help. Can't you even take care of yourself? God damn it, Amaranth. God damn Amaranth. Oh god, he's missing textures. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't have an ass! Well, he's got an ass, but no legs. Amaranth's trans textures are broken. Way to undercut a nice moment. How foolish of you to go alone. Damn hypocrite. He's talking about friendship when you're nothing but a selfish loner. I can take care of myself. Come back, Zidane. Ah! I... I will not be defeated so easily. Now I'm mad. I cook you good. Steiner, Queena, what are you doing? How about me? <laughs> Queena still has auto float. I I'm sorry, but Steiner is just. So fucking overpowered right now. Look at the damage. Steiner's doing ten times more damage than Queena. All these monsters are named after biblical demons. Oh, that's interesting. You guys, you're late, Zidane. the opponent. Zidane, you no can leave us. I still want you take me place have lots good food. And I have not yet concluded whether or not you are the right man for her highness, mind you. Just, just leave me alone. I don't want to trouble you anymore. Bunch of babysitting bastards. Yeah, but trust me, I know that I'm the worst bastard here. Wait, is this Oregon from Monster Hunter?
Dragon, the famous biblical demon. Yeah, maybe then they're not all named after biblical. Bibli -bibli -bibli. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that was. That's okay. It was intentional. Darn it. Is this how you want to solve the problem? Because let me solve the problem for you with Bahamut. Steiner does more damage than that. Steiner should be a fucking Eidolon. by yourself, don't you? Try to understand. I don't want to cause trouble to anyone. Aren't we your friends? I want to think so. That's, that's why I always... Look, I'm not from Gaia. I was just a hairbreadth from becoming the destroyer of Alexandria. I can't accept your friendship so easily. You've always protected us. But you still don't understand that we looked out for you, too. We watched your back while you watched ours. And we believed in you the same way that you believed in us. Just like you protected us. We want to protect you. Burn it. You say it. My master tell me somebody give you tasties, you give them tasties too. It's good matters. I still not cook you succulent frog yet today. Kuna. Chivalry requires a knight to look after his comrades in arms. I will not abandon you. And I shall follow you to kingdom come if I must. You remember that. That's the gut punch for some reason. I don't know why, it's just that's the one. Steiner. <laughs> what am I going to do with you guys? The feeling is mutual. Alright, let's go. Wait, where are the four others? You don't think they've been trapped? It's possible. You should not have left them. That's right, I mean, really. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Let's head back together this time. Dane. So Dane, why did you leave us? I'm sorry. You were right. I need everyone's help. Don't leave us again, okay? Never. So you've had a change of heart. What a busy guy. Coming and going all the time. Yeah, but not anymore. We have to stop Garland. Oh yeah, that's right. A Moogle followed me all the way from Bron Bal. Just tell me if you need to rest, Koopo. Alright, now we can work our way out of this depressing castle. 
Because we're all together now. I just love that scene. Even if it is a little corny in spots, I just, I don't know. It, that whole thing, just great. You know, and Steiner, too, like, just, I don't know, it's, it's because Steiner was such a cock to Zidane in the beginning of the game, and deservedly so, for the most part. And then after all that, he comes around, and he, you know, it's just nice. But, I mean, again, Vivi is kind of, like, the real heart of the story for me. And it's nice that Vivi now offers strength to Zidane where it was opposite earlier on. It's just nice. Um, Vinny, consider taking a healer. Okay. Can you remind me next time I stream this? I'm gonna stop here. For the night. Oh, don't worry. This this was a good story arc for one uh, for one stream. We got to see the best scene, and then there's going to be the the Gaia conclusion, or rather the Terra conclusion. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll take a quick break, and I will be back with a little bit of No Man's Sky. Not a ton of it, but, you know, a little bit. I try to I'll ride a meat, if possible. Well, considering I saw Tame Impala tonight, I may as well just play one of the one of their songs. I'll play one that they played tonight. And you can imagine them just doing it live. And it was good. So stick around.